Hi, this is Michael McAnally, a.k.a. Michael Blade, the science fiction blogger. Um, this is a mothballing video, a, a video that wraps up a uh, experiment I did to learn how to build a, a social uh, network virtual world and um, most of it was going to be used to uh, as background material for writing science fiction stories but it kind of took a life of its own on and became a world that people visited and was uh, invaded by alien virtual reality crabs and ants and uh, uh, constructed but people in China built uh, uh, constructional sites about world peace and, and getting along and and um, we had a starship um, Star Trek excuse the trademark there uh, uh, Paramount Pictures uh, <laughs> uh, uh, simulation a fair use uh, virtual object in our world because our world is about science fiction so since it was um, you know um, geared towards science fiction we can create science fiction like thing there it originally started out of Second Life uh, as a science fiction cafe and you can read all about that and then became the science fiction world of Viridu uh, a science fiction themed world and so I'm going to be mothballing a lot but I'm going to explain what I actually did here I took a Drupal uh, design and built it all out so uh, again this is an ad hoc video so I'll edit some of these delays out um, so here's your install viewer and it takes you to uh, the Imprudence Viewer is the one I'm using right now. Um, they still haven't updated their um, thing about Verdu, I think, yet. I asked them to, but uh, so that you could automatically link without having to go through configuration instructions. Okay. And then once you've uh, installed and configured uh, from the Drupal Customized site, it shows up It's also a small window inside the Imprudence Viewer where you can fill in your login information and click Login. And then, this is an image that was last taken when I was last logged on. And then now it's logging in credentials into the server in San Diego. And uh, that server is going to be shut down very soon. And most of uh, Viridu's original files will be zipped up and provided for people. So you can actually start with my world is the basic world rather than a whole little tiny island. You can actually have a full world that I customized and built. And then from there, you can customize your own avatar, and I've given you sample rules of how to run such a world because I've run into a lot of dealings with different people, you know, pranksters and hackers and such. And so I've got this nice little cube here that you can rewrite in your own words um, and make your own rules about, uh, and, and, and you can look forward through the, the avatar's view and read them. And so basically, you know, I'm just saying follow the golden rule and, and uh, let other people build things and don't mess with it, you know. Uh, and then so you end up getting really nice stuff, you know. Like, for example, so certainly you have to edit once in a while, but look at this. I mean, I'm going to look down through the avatar's eyes into this control room. I mean, jeez, you know, you can, you can have a little adventure with friends through there. And then here's the, here's the, uh, here's the Star Trek uh, Enterprise. And again, this is fair use, okay? As long as you don't start putting things, you know, directly from the movies in here and things like that. I think you're okay. And, and then you can add your own creative little thing. Somebody added a robot that's building the actual Enterprise in the space dock here. So you could then build out your own custom rooms down in here, okay? Go on away missions and all kinds of things, you know? And then, look at this. This is so cool, I think. Okay, and it gave me so much material for writing my stories. So that's where I'm going to be going next because uh, obviously the technology isn't moving as fast as I'd like it to move for my ideas and stuff. It's a little egotistical, but it's true. And then I set down the site down here for the original science, this not original, but the, the now last original science fiction cafe where you could build out the walls of the cafe down here. And you've got a stargate that you can use to... So you, you can set up new stargates by getting them from the hypergates.com and uh, and uh, and people leave flags from different places they visited from or live in and, and let's see um, okay so click there 
you can touch it and you can go into the hyper grid and it's communicating with other grids, you can get the latest news. So let's go to popular gates, just for the heck of it. And nothing comes up. It's just to come up with a little thing here. Oh, there, it's a little slow. Remember, it's, it's communicating over the heaven. That sounds like a place I'd like to be, <laughs> but not have to die to get there. Okay, it's connected now to heaven. Let's see, and there's no guarantee that this gate will work. And you click on it, and then it pulls up a map of, of Viridu, um, where you're at and where you're going. It actually, it says where you're at over here. You are here, and then it's just a new map of where you're going. So let's go to heaven. Let's teleport to heaven. Ready? You click that. And then there's a delay, as usual, so I'll just keep talking. Um, and you're connecting to another server now in another node. So you can build one of these out, and I've given instructions for how to do that. Some of the things have changed over the years, and I can't keep spending the time to update those instructions. But it should be close enough for you to be able to get your own world started. Okay, I'm going to jump down. Things are a little delays. There'll be delays as you go, oh, we're rocking in front of me. Okay, so you get the idea. So now let's 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 switch over to the back end where your server's at. So now this this is uh, this is the back end server, okay, running in this case on a Windows Windows installation, but it could be running on a Unix uh, Linux installation um, or whatever. You know, I mean, uh, go to um, simulator. You know, open simulator.org to find out. Uh, should pull that up for you just so you know. That should be it. Get the latest builds. I recommend um, also going to uh, Diva Distro to get those builds. You'll see the write ups about this, so I'm not going to go into details about that again. So let's get back to the server. And here, when you do things, the console right here in this area scrolls and you can do commands so if you type um, help it's the most helpful command you'll see a list of all the different commands that you can do and then you can go read the documentation on those on the web and and figure out how they work. I've also written some very helpful scripts okay there must be some of them in the backups here let's see um, oh there's a hacker info from somebody who invaded the site don't be a hacker. That's really not nice. Okay, so let's find some of these scripts. Like a recreate script. Let's open that. Okay, so how this works, let's see if we can pull up the font size here. Okay, so how this works is there's these areas called regions. So the regions are named when the first world was created. And you can name them your own names, but I mean, I, I've given examples of things. And then there are aura files, these uh, archival files that build um, the actual area, or the region where, 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 which was created in the simulator. And so that's how, you, how the recreate uh, Viridu works. And that, that's what you'll use to create Viridu, I believe. And then there's a save which does exactly the opposite. It changes the reason, saves the auras out. So you get a lot of um, files, like here's one, Douglas Adam, right here. Um, so you can't open that file, you know, in an editor or anything, I don't think, because I'm just not going to do that. So they're huge. This one's uh, in 67K. Well, they seem to be fairly large, large enough to build the world. And um, so I've kind of used, uh, let me show you the other thing. So the information on how to build this is all at Rocket Virtual. Which you've got there. Okay. And um, so I don't think I'll be mothballing that, but I have to renew the um, thing. That's another fair use right there. Because this is a lot like the Matrix. Uh, but considerably less evolved. Okay. And uh, you can also, just a little plug for for the uh, science fiction blog, you can visit that as well at roadmap.com for Transhuman Singularity, where I write a lot of my stories and ideas. And I'll be posting this video. So um, build your own virtual world. 
I've given you everything you need. Uh, I'm shutting down my research for now as I work on other things. And I've got some very innovative ideas about virtual reality uh, that some people haven't thought about, but I'm not ready to disclose just yet until I do some more thinking on it. So, Michael Blade, science fiction blogger out, and I hope you have a good day.